Good evening to everyone. Welcome to 7 days 7 webinars on wildlife on the occasion of Wildlife Week 2024 conducted by Aganashini Nature Foundation. On the occasion of Wildlife Week, Aganashini Nature Foundation has conducted different webinars on each day of Wildlife Week. Aganashini Nature Foundation is an environmental conservation organization by providing nature education, awareness and outreach programs for students and community people. I hope all of you will attend all these upcoming seven webinars and make this Wildlife Week a successful. Today's webinar on Geckos of Indian Subcontinent by Prathmesh Ambedkar. Prathmesh Ambedkar is an independent researcher and a herpetologist working on a species of gecko endemic to lateritic plateaus in Konkan, Hemidactylis albofacetus, and he is passionate about reptiles, particularly lizards and snakes, and spend most of the time looking for them in the wild. I now request Prathmesh sir to take over the session, please. Yeah, hi, thanks for the introduction. Yeah, is my screen visible now? Ah, oh, yes, visible. Yeah, hello everyone. Uh, 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 thanks for the introduction. Uh, so I'll be speaking on uh, geckos of India. So I'll be referring geckos to uh, any uh, species that are present, uh, I mean, that uh, belong to the group uh, Geckota. Uh, so what exactly are geckos? So geckos uh, possess some trade such as uh, uh, non-movable eyelids, uh, sub-digital lamellae, which you can see on the uh, right here, and they possess uh, and they can uh, autotomize. That is, uh, they they can lose their uh, tail uh, in case uh, uh, some predator catches them. Uh, they have uh, no limb reduction. That is, uh, unlike uh, other species of uh, skink, which have very reduced limb or uh, the limbs are um, absent uh, in case of geckos all and they have the ability to vocalize uh, there are a few exceptions uh, in these characters where uh, uh, species belonging to the group Ugliferidae have uh, move, movable eyelids and this is one of the main characters in that group uh, even in geckos many species uh, lack uh, lamellae and they and Lamellae are present in other uh, groups such as anoles and uh, skink, and not all uh, species of geckos can autotomize. Uh, so geckos are found almost everywhere uh, in the warmer regions uh, of the world. Uh, they are almost absent towards uh, the uh, either side of the highest latitudes, uh, but they are very uh, species uh, rich in uh, 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 Southwest uh, Africa, uh, in Madagascar, Southeast Asia, uh, Asia and uh, Australia, right? Uh, so how old are these uh, geckos? So geckos have diverged from uh, other uh, lizards, uh, eggs of geckos have been found from Russia, uh, which, which are around uh, 130 million years ago. So geckos have uh, diverged uh, from uh, other groups of lizards uh, around 150 million years ago, which makes them uh, like pre pretty separated from other lizards for a pretty long time. So how to tell apart these uh, geckos? So there are a few uh, taxonomic characters which uh, uh, helps us to uh, differentiate among uh, genera or uh, species. Uh, the, one of the most striking characters or what makes geckos fascinating is the presence of lamellae on their feet. Although 40% of the geckos have uh, uh, have lost uh, lamellae, but uh, they are pre pretty much present in the uh, majority of the groups. So these uh, lamellae help uh, the geckos to uh, cling on to vert vertical surfaces such as rocks or even walls uh, and as as you can see on the right there's a uh, phy phy phylogenetic tree present which shows the uh, evolutionary relationships uh, be between uh, uh, these groups of geckos and how uh, each group has its own distinct patterns of lamellae so we'll talk about these uh, lamellae in each of the indian group uh, 
in uh, more detail and further. So other uh, character that you can look for is the scales on the uh, dorsum. Uh, so some geckos have very uh, granular scales, uh, which are tightly packed. Um, uh, others have uh, more uh, overlapping scales, which are much more big, bigger than uh, granular scales. And a few, uh, I mean, uh, majority have, of them have these uh, granular scales intermixed with these uh, tubercles, which are present. Uh, so the exact function of tubercles is not yet known, uh, but uh, in other uh, groups of lizards, they are used to enhance uh, camouflage, or uh, they have uh, they have some uh, 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 calcarized uh, particle which help them uh, uh, to uh, save the themselves from predators. Uh, other character is uh, the presence of femoral pores. So unlike other agamids or other lizards, which uh, display uh, themselves or some uh, these geckos secret these uh, pheromones to um, attract mates. So these uh, glands are uh, uh, aligned on either side of their thighs uh, in a uh, horizontal manner. And a few of the geckos have something called as a pre-cloacal uh, pores, which are just uh, present just above their cloaca, and they lack these uh, femoral pores. So, yeah, these are a few characters which will help you to uh, distinguish uh, uh, between individual, I mean, species or uh, genera of geckos. So we look at a few. Uh, 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 species which are uh, found commonly in, in uh, I mean, not species, uh, uh, genera which are found uh, commonly in India. The first one is uh, Hemidactylus, which is one of the most uh, widespread gecko, not just in India, but other parts of the world uh, uh, as well. So these geckos can be uh, characterized by their uh, uh, distinct patterns of lamellae, which are uh, divided. So the name itself uh, means, uh, hemi means half, and ductalis uh, meaning something uh, related to fing fingers or uh, toads in uh, uh, Greece. So these also, uh, these geckos also have uh, vertical uh, pupils. So, uh, so this uh, uh, graph shows the trends in how uh, species were described uh, in India. So until the early 2000s, uh, as you can see the one, the line, uh, the trend mark in red over here, there were around not more than uh, 10 species. And after the advent of uh, sequencing, uh, which was used one of the line of evidence, uh, 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 major widespread uh, uh, groups were split into many uh, species and now we have uh, around more than uh, 50 uh, species of hemidactylus uh, in india so what makes hemidactylus so widespread is their uh, ability to uh, uh, adapt uh, uh, in uh, all the uh, bioclimatic conditions they are found uh, 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 in uh, I mean, they are terrestrial, they are found in open scrub habitats, they are found in forests, uh, on trees, and they are also found uh, on uh, uh, rocky cliffs or uh, rocky outcrops. So what makes them so widespread is they are, uh, uh, the variation in their uh, mor mor morphological characters. As you can see in the graph over here, uh, these uh, Geckos have an, uh, very, uh, I mean, have, uh, I mean, they range from around uh, 30 to 40 millimeters in length to up to a few uh, species which are more than 120 or 130 millimeters in length. So, uh, a few of these uh, small bodied uh, uh, group, uh, such as uh, Albofasciatus gracilis. Uh, Satharansis, uh, they also have some other characters such as they have very uh, reduced number of lamellae compared to the uh, big bodied group. Uh, 
so the uh, uh, ground body uh, sorry the ground dwelling a small body group uh, have seven, seven to eight number of lamellae uh, whereas the uh, large bodied uh, rupicolous groups have around 12 to 30 number of lamellae on their uh, uh, toe patch so other widespread uh, species of gecko is the nemaspes or the uh, dwarf gecko or the day gecko so this gecko can be uh, characterized by the round pupils, which are not present in any other uh, uh, Indian gecko. And they, unlike hemidactylus, they have only uh, single lamellaries, uh, which, which are uh, arranged on their uh, toes. Uh, uh, so these are uh, mostly diurnal, with a few exceptions, which uh, in the North, Northern Western Guards, who, uh, which are nocturnal. Uh, so, and similar to Hemidactylus, uh, these were, I mean, there were around uh, 15 uh, described species until the 2000s. And after 2000s, in the last two, two, two decades, there were around more than 70 uh, species described. So, the same reason is uh, uh, evolution of uh, genes was one of the uh, lines of evidence used uh, to describe these species. So these are more mostly distributed in the uh, West Western Ghats, uh, uh, both uh, the Northern Western Ghats, Central and the Southern, some parts of uh, the Eastern Ghats and in the, in, uh, in the Deccan uh, plateaus and the Mai Mysore plateau over here. So uh, they are one of the most uh, diverse group of geckos. Uh, with around, uh, so the uh, phy phy phylogenetic tree over here shows you how diverse they are with uh, uh, with them showing their uh, evolutionary rela uh, relationships with over uh, 10 groups. Another uh, gecko which is uh, uh, fairly uh, widespread in, in India is the Certodactylus. They are known from their uh, bent toes. Uh, Certo meaning bent and ductalis meaning fingers. So these uh, geckos are uh, can be uh, classified into four major groups with uh, albofasciatus and uh, decanensis uh, endemic to the Western Ghats. Uh, then you have uh, the Varadgiri group with around uh, five or six uh, species, which is uh, endemic to uh, uh, not endemic but uh, I mean uh, distributed more. In Karnataka, uh, uh, Tamil Nadu, Andhra Pradesh, and then you have uh, the uh, Certodactylus uh, nebulosus group, which is uh, uh, restricted to the uh, Eastern Ghats, and then uh, Certodactylus cassiensis uh, group uh, with around uh, nine to ten species, uh, endemic to uh, uh, Northeast India and uh, also distributed in Southeast Asia. Uh, so Hemiphylodactylus is another group of uh, gecko, which was, uh, I mean, there was just one species uh, until the last uh, four or five years, which were later split into uh, another uh, eight species. So these uh, geckos have these, uh, uh, they are known for their uh, amazing toe pads over here. So uh, they, they look like leaves, so hence uh, hemi, which is half, uh, uh, phylo, which uh, leaf-like, and tactalis, meaning toes. So their uh, toes look like leaves. Uh, they are fairly distributed in the uh, southern western guards and some parts of the eastern guards, and few uh, representatives uh, in the Andamans. Dravida gecko is another uh, group of gecko which is endemic to the southern western guards. Uh, uh, they are closely related to uh, hemidactylus, but unlike hemidactylus, they don't have uh, uh, divided uh, lamellae. The lamellae are singular with uh, some uh, notch. They are not entirely divided, but uh, some some notch uh, at the base of each uh, lapelle. Calodactylus or oriensis is restricted to uh, 
Orius is uh, restricted to uh, East, Eastern Ghat, and they have these uh, remarkable uh, uh, toe pads uh, like other geckos. Uh, so there are around two species uh, described. Uh, one is endemic to uh, India in the Eastern Ghats, and one uh, is, uh, in, is found in Sri Lanka. So these are one of the geckos uh, uh, which are uh, scheduled under Schedule 1 of the Wildlife uh, Protection Act. Then there is uh, Euglypharis. So this is one of the gecko which, uh, I mean, group, group of gecko which uh, have eyelids, unlike any other uh, group of geckos. Uh, there are not many species present uh, throughout uh, the world, but around uh, four species in India. Uh, these geckos are known for their uh, uh, illegal pet trade and they are kept as pets uh, uh, in many, many parts of the world. Other species of uh, uh, other groups of geckos such as uh, Felsuma, which are uh, um, endemic to the uh, uh, Andaman Islands and few uh, rep representatives in uh, Southeast uh, Asia. Uh, Certopodian is most uh, restric restricted to uh, the state of uh, Gujarat, the dry, dry, drier parts of India, and they are uh, the other species are uh, distributed in the Afro-Saharan region. So, uh, gecko gecko or uh, the toke gecko is one of the most uh, largest gecko found in India, uh, restricted to uh, uh, North India. Uh, and uh, they are also known for their uh, illegal pet trade with uh, geckos from India are sold into uh, uh, Southeast Asia, both for consumption of meat and as uh, pets. So these geckos uh, face numerous uh, threats. There are uh, so each uh, species has its own uh, lo local threat, but I'll uh, so a few glo global threats which they face is uh, not much is known about the distribution and uh, natural history of the geckos uh, with around 13 species uh, which are uh, listed as threatened under the uh, IUCN uh, red list status. Around 8% are data deficient and around 34% are not evaluated yet. So we don't know a lot of uh, uh, things about geckos. They are also, as discussed earlier, they are also included in pet trades, uh, uh, illegal pet trade, and other local threats such as change in uh, land use patterns where uh, natural habitats are uh, converted uh, into uh, monocultures, uh, agriculture, and rapid urbanization, and increasing uh, linear infrastructures where habitats are uh, fragmented uh, yeah so uh, yeah so uh, a majority of the photos that have been used in the presentation have been sourced from uh, open source databases and these are uh, a few uh, people yeah uh, that's it thank you thank you for such a wonderful session now the session is open for the discussion. If anybody have any questions, you can ask the speaker by unmuting yourself or dropping message in the chat box. Hi, I see a few uh, questions. Uh, so major differences between geckos and uh, wall lizards. So majority of the lizards that you see around your houses uh, on walls are actually geckos. Uh, so. Uh, a few species such as Hemidactylus, uh, Leshnalti, Hemidactylus, uh, uh, Freenatus, or uh, the Hemidactylus uh, bruchi uh, are com commonly seen around houses uh, on on walls. So these the these are geckos. The functions of lamellae. So these uh, lamellae are used uh, uh, used by geckos and uh, other uh, lizards to uh, hang on to uh, vertical surfaces such, such as walls. They can also hang on to, uh, I mean, glass and stuff. 
there's a question called uses of geckos like what exactly uh, acting like how do they contribute or like not sure okay. so there's an interesting question with why are geckos not seen in uh, seen much in northern states of india uh, so because uh, west west western guards uh, uh, acted uh, the summits of the western guards acted uh, as a ref refuge uh, to uh, many of uh, species not not just lizards but many many other species uh, uh, during uh, glacial and interglacial uh, states so these the temp uh, the climate on these summits were very uh, stable for a longer period of time and uh, in the uh, central part of india there there was a uh, time where aridification happened so much of the forest were restricted to the uh, western guard so of uh, majority of the species i mean the west western guards is not just rich in terms of geckos but uh, other uh, taxa as well uh, there are no gecko species which exhibit uh, fluorescence Common predators of geckos are mostly uh, snakes, but uh, there are a few species of spiders that uh, have, I mean, there are reports of uh, spiders, uh, mantises feeding on uh, geckos. And even uh, uh, larger geckos uh, feed on uh, smaller geckos. Can gecko change color like chameleons? Uh, there, uh, I mean, not ex ex exactly like chameleons where, uh, there is a, a swift change in color, but uh, they do change uh, color, but not as uh, significant, significant as uh, chameleons. Uh, geckos are not uh, poisonous. Uh, geckos are costly, and uh, because it's uh, there are a few collectors who uh, like keeping geckos, uh, and they are very uh, easy to maintain. Uh, they can uh, feed on insects and uh uh so yeah it's it's easy to keep uh, geckos as pets compared to uh, others and yeah pictorial guides for gecko there are a few uh, field guides but not for geckos uh, i mean for geckos not exclusively for geckos but uh, reptiles of india as well so. So keeping exotic pets in India is uh, legalized, uh, but uh, to treat, uh, I mean, exotic pet, yes, but you can't uh, keep uh, geckos which are found in India as pets. Geckos feed on uh, uh, insects. A few have, a f there, there are a few uh, rec records of uh, uh, geckos feeding on uh, fruits, uh, not feeding, but licking uh, fruits, uh, licking tree saps, and also other small geckos. I see uh, Anirudh Roy asking questions on how how many of the geckos, especially the recent uh, discovered ones, do you think are valid? And uh, when I say valid, are these uh, independently evolving populations? Uh, I think majority of the uh, uh, species which have been uh, de described recently uh, are like uh, what authors fail to do is they uh, they don't uh, uh, de describe what uh, barriers are uh, in a uh, bit. bit between uh, species. Uh, so, for example, you take uh, uh, species, uh, A, uh, I mean, one population which is, uh, say, say, for population A, which is uh, uh, 50 kilometers from population B. Uh, so, there tends to be uh, isolation in, uh, in uh, uh, genes which are like some are my, my, mitochondrial. So, I, I mean, most of them, I mean, should I go there? I'm not sure if I should go there. There are a lot, lot of questions coming up. I would appreciate if people could unmute their mic and ask questions. Hey, Pradamesh, can you hear me? Yeah, hi, Anil. Hi. Hi. <laughs> hi. <laughs> good talk. 
thank you thank you there's a reason why i said it was a controversial spicy question yeah 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 i mean yeah <laughs> yeah i i could understand that you didn't want to divulge uh yeah. but um uh, okay so what is green psg project looks like you're really interested in geckos geckos i would love to work on uh, as i did discuss earlier the role of uh, uh, tubercles in geckos so uh, the exact role of tubercles is not known in geckos uh, yet and there exists i mean there is a lot of variation even in the size and shape of uh, tubercles uh, which uh, uh, which can't uh, i mean uh, it, even if you see hemidactylus there's so much variation uh, in the tubercles uh, just in the prasadi clade if you see uh, uh, some uh, some rep representatives have uh, relatively uh, large tubercles compared to others such as uh, uh, aranbauri or ev even in jajantius there are uh, i mean tubercles are totally absent uh, yet they are rupiculous so like uh, the ex uh, is it just uh, drift or Uh, do they have any e ecological significance just in between so yeah i would love to uh... uh i guess you'll have a lot of biomechanics involved in that project yeah right yeah hi uh, you can hear me yeah yeah hi kiran yeah. uh, can you tell something about the reproduction of geckos all the geckos lay eggs or uh, there are some exceptions uh so all geckos do lay uh, lay eggs in clutches of one or two there are uh, a few groups uh, such as uh, nemaspis uh, which tend to uh, lay uh, eggs in the same spot so if you see uh, i mean uh, walls uh, of buildings around uh, bangalore you might uh, see uh, clutches of uh, 10 to uh, 11 uh, eggs in just one spot so uh, all uh, gecko geckos do lay eggs yeah and the fertilization is also so, yeah. sir what is the life span of geckos uh, uh so we don't exactly know what the life span of geckos is we don't have an act, act, actual answer for this and so e ecological significance uh significance the only thing that geckos do is they uh, con control uh, pest and yeah that's uh, yeah they control pests hello patmesh and sir their uh, uses in medicinal uh not really these are uh, actually myths that uh, geckos uh, uh have we i mean uh, so many 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 of the uh, uh, trade that happens is for uh, uh, is to use geckos for medicine so they don't they don't have any uh, medicinal value as such they are just uh, myths hello hello hi hello are you able to hear me yeah yeah yes yes yeah first of all thank you for your presentation Uh, i have two questions i have observed in the northern india there are uh, some geckos which are known as saap ki mausi and it is probably related to skunks they have yeah, a right. glistening skin they have a very shine. i mean the skin shines a lot what is the basic difference between them and i had asked a question about monitor lizards are they really geckos uh so no mon monitor lizards are not uh, so so i'll answer the first question so a difference between uh, skinks and geckos is that uh, in in some uh, species uh, of skinks they don't uh, uh, have limbs or limbs are uh, very much reduced uh, uh, in uh, uh, skinks uh, another difference is, is that uh, as uh, as i showed you earlier uh, these geckos have something called as uh, granules or uh, tubercles on their body and uh, skinks have uh, overlapping scales okay. uh, uh, geckos are uh, dorso ventrally flattened that is uh, uh, imagine taking a cylinder and pre pressing it from uh, either side that 
will give. I mean, uh, so uh, they are dorso ventrally uh, flattened, whereas uh, skinks have a more uh, cylindrical uh, uh, body shape. Hello. Hello. Uh, yeah uh, and uh, the second question sorry uh, sorry akash uh, i will just interrupt the sec second question that you had was our uh, monitor lizard geckos uh, so they are not uh, uh, geckos uh, they belong to a very uh, separate uh, uh, group called uh, uh, i mean uh, varanidae uh, uh, to which uh, these uh, huge uh, uh, Komodo dragons also belong to the famous ones. So yeah, they are a separate group as well. Okay, okay, right. Hello, Pratamesh. Yeah, hi, Akash. Uh, I'm uh, just starting my project and I'm facing in the identification of geckos. Right, okay. Uh -huh. Yeah, uh, how can I... Uh, uh, how can I identify these uh, different species of the geckos? Uh, so there are a few guides available uh, uh, for basic identification of uh, species. And uh, uh, majority of uh, the geckos, uh, I mean, are like described very recently. Uh, so you'll have to uh, refer to uh, their uh, papers. So, uh, yeah. There's no other way around. Like you, you'll have to read a lot. Uh, yeah. Uh, I have been fined, but I uh, didn't get uh, their identification feature information. Uh, it would be great if you could uh, just uh, drop me an uh, email. Sometime we could uh, discuss this uh, over an email thread or like yeah, over a phone call if possible. Is that uh, fine? Uh, I'm dropping uh, here uh, in chat box my email ID. Uh, no, I'll I'll share my email ID. You write. Okay, okay, okay. Hello. Hi. Uh, so I had a doubt that like which gender in geckos display during the breeding season? Because usually it's the uh, male gender, but I saw in one of your slide mentioned the opposite. Uh, no, no, it was not uh, the uh, opposite. Uh, so, uh, uh, so what I meant was, unlike uh, other agamids, uh, such as the uh, fan-throated lizard, geckos don't uh, uh, display. So, since they are uh, nocturnal, uh, these, uh, I mean, the colors are not uh, vis vis visible at night. So, in instead, That's what they do is they uh, communicate through uh, uh, chemical signaling and that's what these uh, fem femoral pores are for Achha. so they secret uh, pheromones and through that uh, they uh, find me okay thank you i am audible Sir, i yeah. want to ask whether the geckos are only restricted to habitat terrestrial habitat or also they are in aquatic habitat or semi aquatic so geckos are not uh, aquatic uh, uh, but they have been known to get onto ships and uh, logs of woods uh, uh, by which they, uh, they uh, disperse from one island to other uh, yeah but they, they don't swim they are not aquatic hi am i audible sir yeah hi sir do do these uh, shows parental characters means uh, caring for young one or uh, protecting them from predators like that so uh a tail autotomy is uh, is one of the uh, okay so tail autotomy is one of the uh, defensive mechanism in geckos uh, there are no other uh, geckos so uh, one uh, in which uh, uh, one way in which uh, geckos uh, uh, protect themselves is hiding the themselves uh, during the uh, day so they hide them themselves under rocks in crevices so, so there is a, so parents there does not protect young ones sir huh means the young ones are uh, newborns means uh, they should protect themselves uh, yeah so th there's no uh, parental care as such in the course 
sir are geckos territorial or they live in groups uh a few geckos uh, have been uh, reported to live uh, uh in groups but the majority of the time they are uh, solitary uh, that is they live alone yeah if uh, resources are clumped uh, they do uh, they are found in congregation but not sir yeah hi i want to ask what can what are the differentiating characteristics between the male and female geckos uh not many uh, show sexual dimorphism uh, but uh, as i said earlier uh, uh, males tend to have a uh, femoral pores and females don't so, yeah. so that's the only uh, character from which you can tell apart so okay prathamesh so thank you so much for this webinar so yeah, now the session is about to end great okay. so if we have any doubt so you can directly contact with prathamesh the email id will be provided in the whatsapp group So thank you so much once again Pratamesh thank you uh, yeah thanks lot Dhanush